Hey y'all, what's up? It's your favorite Auntie Mo and I'm back. I'm back and I'm back because I'm black, y'all. <laughs> y'all already know what we're here for. We are back with another episode review of Catfish. This is season eight, episode six, Willie and Willie. <laughs> Willie, really? William and Jamie, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired in a Hebrew slave, y'all. I can't, uh, girl. I feel like I've been drinking, and I ain't been drinking shit, but I'm so doggone tired, y'all. Before we get into this review, y'all already know church announcements. Um, If you ain't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you already know when I got new content uploaded. And um, go ahead and like this video for your auntie. You know what I'm saying? I sure and appreciate you. Um, Beforehand, thank you to everybody that watches my catfish reviews, everybody that leaves comments. I love that. I love going back and forth with y'all in the comments, shooting the shit, kikiing with y'all, because y'all are funny. Y'all talk about I'm funny. Some of the doggone comments, if you ain't going through the comments and reading other people's comments, especially on these catfish, y'all need to read this shit, because I be rolling to everybody that leaves comments. Thank you for rocking with your auntie. I sure and appreciate it. Y'all... This, this damn me, you know you're tired when you're scratching your ear. Ooh, bitch. And you get it right up in there in that good part. Ooh. Shit, that shit was like ecstasy. Y'all, this goddamn episode, a goddamn catfish. This was some... The dude, let's just say it. Let me just go ahead and get this out here now. Little boy William. You got you got fuckboy tendencies to you. I'm sorry, I hate to start cussing off the bat, but you know your auntie curse. You know your auntie curse, okay? And if you don't know, then you obviously ain't read my about me section of this channel. I curse. I'm just saying, and I ain't mean to start it off already, but you know what I'm saying? It's Black History Month, so I'm going to speak my goddamn, <laughs> I'm just, but I'm just saying, though. William got fuckboy tendencies, okay? Um... I don't want to spend no more time on this doggone intro, y'all. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you because I'm ready to take this bra off and get my ass right back up in this bed. So, y'all already know what's on deck. Bitch, what keto with this banana mango green tea. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get right up into it. All right, y'all. So, we got 19-year-old uh, Akira. She wrote to the show about her 21-year-old boyfriend, William. They've been dating for three months. She stayed all in love. That's her boo. That's her man. And she loved him or whatever, right? Now, two years, he has been talking to this chick online. They met before they had even got together. But she says out of respect for her, when they got together, he says that he broke everything off of her, right? Shortly after he broke everything off of her, she started to get shit. Now she's starting to get shit to her phone. All this threatening shit. Bitch, um, your nigga ain't shit. You ain't shit for being with him. And the both of y'all ain't shit. And y'all ain't never gonna be shit. And it is shit what it is. Um, tell your dude he owe me money. This, that, and the other. Whoop the whoop. Yada, yada, yada. Jamie also says uh, somebody has been trying to hack into her Instagram account. And she thinks that it's Jamie. Because she's been getting a whole lot of, you know, when uh, you try to log into like your Instagram or your Gmail or something like that. And then you do the wrong login. Or you put that you forgot your password. It sends you all these alerts. So, Kira says she's getting all these goddamn alerts because the bitch been trying to hack into her Instagram and all that. Like, she on some real single white female stalkerish, you know what I'm saying, some old crazy shit or whatever, right? She trying to get into her account, threatening sending her crazy shit, talking about her dude, then been sending him crazy shit, talking talking crazy to his ass. So the bitch, she on some old she on some old fail attraction shit. Akira says she recently caught that William has still been communicating with old girl on PayPal. Now, come to find out, homegirl been sending this nigga money. Neve is like, wait a minute. So, they didn't, they weren't talking because he was sending her money? He was tricking off money? She say, no, my nigga. She's sending this nigga money. Neve say, oh, I got to see this nigga. Where he at? <laughs> oh, he must be finding the motherfucker. Where he at? Chai, go get William. And y'all, we meet William. Not a bad looking fella. Not a bad looking fella. It is what it is. He surprised as hell. Because she said she told him she was going to call catfish. But he didn't think it was for real. But oh, surprise. Y'all already know how Neve do. Huh? Here I am. To catfish a bitch and to catfish these bitches. What it is. What it was. 
what it looked like, what we got to do. And they end up going to um, meet up with William in his home state, wherever he was. Was it Maryland or wherever that was? Anyways, he says that him and Jamie been talking for two years. She actually hit this nigga up on Twitter, whatever, right? Shortly after that, they exchanged phone numbers, and that's where their communication started to go from there. Now, he says that she does social media promotions. Like, people would send her money because she has a lot of uh, followers on her Instagram and her Twitter. She uses that to, you know, basically promote other people's shit so people send her money now he says that he was kind of hard up for money at one point in time and he told her that he needed you know some ducats or whatever nigga doing kind of bad you know what i'm saying how much you really love a nigga not ain't what he said but he did say he was doing bad you know what i'm saying can nigga hold something he was like damn i keep hitting this fucking ball i'm sorry y'all this is boy guy i'm not a violent person i'm not hitting this shit I, i'm sorry i promise now, he says that, you know, she was okay with it. She sent him, you know, tricked off a little $20, $30 to her, I mean, to him or whatever it is, what it is, right? He says that shortly after that, she said that her PayPal was broken and she started using his PayPal basically to collect the money that she was using to use her page to promote. You know what I'm saying? Catch this tea again if it sounded like I was kind of confused or whatever, right? Supposedly, her PayPal broke. Now, again, she promotes people's shit on her social media. So, she was using this nigga PayPal. All of a sudden, this nigga say he just started getting money coming to him left and right from over like 50 different accounts. 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 90 dollars. All kinds of goddamn money is being sent to this nigga. He said over time he has gotten thousands of dollars from this bitch, right? So when he got with Akira, he broke the shit off. Once he broke the shit off, that's when the bitch Jamie gonna send this nigga a PayPal request for five G's. This nigga was like five stacks? I ain't got that kind of money. The fuck? She was like, nigga, don't be trying to ghost me. All this shit that I done did for your ass for two years. I've been tricking off this goddamn money your ass. And all of a sudden, you want to ghost me like it ain't nothing. Nigga got me fucked up. Cha. Then the bitch going to send another request for $6.5 million through PayPal. Bitch, can you even do that? Is PayPal set up to hold them kind of commas? That shit don't even sound legal. So Neeb looks through his phone because Neeb was like, hold on, let me see your goddamn phone. Let me see this shit. So he starts scrolling through the little PayPal thing and he goes and he sees the first transaction is from a Jamie Arnofsky. And Kim is like, wait a minute, I thought Jamie's last name was Gonzalez, because that's what he said. Her name was Jamie Gonzalez. And he was like, yeah. So the second transaction and a couple of transactions after that they see, it says Baby Gonzalez. And so they were like, okay, so is this her or is this Jamie Aronofsky her? And he was like, well, when she first reached out to me, she went under the name Baby Gonzalez. So that's who I know her as. And so from then, he was just scrolling through, bitch, it's a, do it's a dozens different accounts in there. Of this nigga just sitting, this bitch is just sending him money. $70, $90, $80, $30. Just sending money left and fucking right. Like it looked like I thought it was a goddamn pyramid scheme. I was like, oh, this shit can't be fucking real. But like he said, after he cut the shit off with her, that's when that bitch flipped the motherfucking script and was like, oh, oh, I'm finna have to cut you and the bitch with you. Oh, okay, cool. I'm finna show you how crazy I can be. So Akira says after he broke everything off with her, that's when she started getting all the shit sent to her phone, talking about your man ain't shit. I done mess around with your man. Me and 58 million other bitches done mess around with your man. You gullible as hell if you stay with his ass. Y'all females are dumb as hell. And so Nevis think is like, well, damn, who the hell could you show this ain't nobody that you know? And then it was one message that he sent or that supposedly Jamie sent that was like, you females are all dumb as hell. And so Nee was putting it out there. Well, you think it could be a dude or something like that? He's like, nah, I know for sure it ain't a dude. That's facts on facts. Y'all, William, I, I hate to say this about my brothers, my strong, proud brothers, but William had a lot of fuckboy tendencies to him. He just did. I'm sorry. Akira, girl, I know this your mind. Please don't come for me because I ain't sent for you. But you can't lie. Looking back on this, like... All right, y'all. So, Neve and Cammy, they going and doing their little investigation, whatever, right? 
They search her photos, they don't find shit on her, right? They end up going and they searching her uh, social media. Her IG has zero posts, but has like 12,000 or 24,000 followers on there. And like, she follows 19 people. So clearly they could see like, okay, well maybe she's buying subscribers or something, or, or maybe she's buying people, or not subscribers, she's buying followers to her page. Because her Twitter account as well was set up, but her Twitter account, you could tw tell was completely fake. It wasn't shit real about that or whatever, right? So after that, they searched the phone number. They searched the phone number in this one, uh, the first site that they see, and the phone number comes back registered to Stephen Ar Aronofsky. And they noticed that that was the same last name that was the first name on that PayPal that had first initially sent him money. So they was like, hold on. That's kind of weird. And they see that somebody related to him with that same number was a Jamie Aronofsky, right? So they end up searching Jamie Aronofsky's name under another site with that same phone number. And lo and behold, this bitch pop up, Jamie Aronofsky. All her information, bitch, her date of birth, where she lived, dress size, favorite food, favorite color, what the bitch did last year. I know what you did last summer. All of that shit is on there. Even got a picture of the female on there. I'm like, damn, I wish I had some need goddamn investigation skills. Do you know how many niggas, I ain't gonna lie, I would be searching just because I had some kind of skills to do that. Like, hmm, I always looked at this nigga kind of weird at work. Let me just, yeah, I would, I would. I'm not even, yes, I would, I would. That neighbor that you see every day that look kind of funny. This thing see what the fuck I can find out. I would. I don't even lie. So, child, also on a picture of the girl, not only do they see all the girl information, see the girl picture, the heifer got on a whole necklace with the name Jamie on it. Neven's like, fuck it. Bingo. We got action. We done found the bitch. Catfish the catfish. Boom, let's get this out. So Neve and Cammy end up going back to William and, and uh, Kira. Like, look here, let me tell you everything that we done found out. So uh, first of all, before we get into everything, let me just ask you, like, what I want to know is why is this bitch sending you money like that? Like, what is you really doing? Niggas, you out here selling pictures of your little dang -ling or something. What is you doing? Are you, you selling your drawers or something? Why is this heifer just sending you money like that? Now, he has his girlfriend Akira there, right? He trying to act like, oh, it ain't nothing. Like, uh, she was just sending me money. And I was just loving that she was sending me money. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just in love with that. It is what it is. Cammy's like, mm, Akira, girl, you want to go, go outside and have some girl talk? Because, you know, <laughs> these niggas ain't shit, girl. So, let's go on ahead and go outside and talk about them. Y'all already know how we finna fucking do. Neve. We better go outside and talk about your ass too. <laughs> Child, so Cammy takes Akira, girl, I'm gonna call her girlfriend, cause her name, it gets stuck on my tongue trying to say sometimes. No offense to you, baby, but the, it just, I, I be like, a, like I'm stuttering trying to say it. So we just gonna call her girlfriend. So Cammy and girlfriend go out to the car and they out there talking to that right now. Girlfriend end up telling Cammy like, look at, cause Cammy, at first tell her, look at bitch, I'm not even finna lie to you. I'm finna give to you straight no chase. This nigga was just telling us yesterday he was in love with this hoe. He had feelings for this hoe. He was feeling this hoe. And all of a sudden that you heard, he like, you know what I'm saying? I was in love with the money. I was in love with the cold, cold. You know, I ain't really, ain't never really felt enough for the bitch like that. Girlfriend ended up telling Cammy, who can be, um, I'm fucking her name up. Girlfriend ended up telling Cammy, well, look here, the nigga ended up telling me that he really is in love with her still. Cammy like, bitch, what? She said, yes. But check this out. I done already let the nigga know. If that's the bitch that you want, that's cool. Nigga, I'm 19. I got my high school diploma. I got a motherfucking car. I ain't got now credit to fuck up. So, uh, nigga, you want me? I'm going to catch y'all here in these streets. I ain't even worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Meanwhile, Neve on the inside talking with William. This nigga going to say, well, yeah, she was there for me when I really needed her. I ain't never had no mother. I never had no father. She was there for me when I needed her to pick me up when I was down. You know what I'm saying? Help turn my life around. Nigga, you was just sitting up here talking about how it was all about the money. 
Now all of a sudden, you said how much you love the bitch? Nigga, what? Nima's like, you know what? Nigga, look here. Because I'm not finna keep fucking doing this shit with you. What's up? Who you want? What you gonna do? If we get over here and it turns out that this bitch is really who you think it is, what you gonna leave your for show thing? For you don't know thing? Like, what is you gonna do? This nigga William gonna say that Akira is what Jamie was supposed to be. I wouldn't necessarily say that's like a big up and compliment to, to my girl girlfriend. What you mean? I'm supposed I I am what another bitch was supposed to be. I mean, I get that, but nigga, what? I ain't trying to be no second vittles to nothing that you had already had on the plate that you wanted. Like what? Nigga say, fuck it, give me the bitch number. I'm finna call her because I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of William ass. I need to know why this bitch sending you money like this. Is 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 this bitch a big old trick? Is she out here stealing money, robbing Peter to pay Paul? Like, what the hell is she out here doing? Neve end up calling her. Y'all already know how my nigga Neve do. She like, hello. What up? What it is? What it look like? This your nigga Neve. <laughs> your local catfish catcher. I'm filming an episode of my nigga William. I know you know who the hell he is, so we just gonna cut right to the motherfucking chase. We know that you ain't who you told him that you was. We know who you is. So what we gonna do? Barbecue and mildew. You in New York? What part of New York? You in Queens, Uptown, Downtown, Manhattan? Because, bitch, we know you in New York. So, she like, um, yeah, I'm in New York. But you know what? Right now ain't a really good time. So, I'm going to have to go by, boop, hang up the phone. Kimmy like, I hate it when these hoes do this goddamn shit. Bitch, I can't never get nothing out for a bitch want to hang up the phone, man. Then you say, oh, it's cool. Hold on right quick. Need sent home, grab a text, man. Well, look here, uh, 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 bitch, we still on the way. Just so that you know. Hang up all you want to, bitch. We will meet you at your front door. Pull up outside on the grass at your mama house. See you in the morning. Bloop, bloop. Send. Next thing you know, these niggas on the first thing smoking in New York. Pew. Neve don't play that shit. Child, the next goddamn day, they get out there to New York. Got Woke up butt crack in the morning. Got on the flight. Flew out to New York. Get to the goddamn hotel. Jamie ends up texting him back an uh, address at a park for them to meet at, right? Soon as they get into the goddamn hotel, Kier girlfriend, she goes sits down, get on her phone, mind her own motherfucking business. This nigga William gonna pull Neve to the side. Neve, I got something to tell you. My nigga, look here, my bad. Look, I was scrolling through some old Snapchats yesterday. And I realized, look, she sent me a picture of her. Neve is like, nigga, this the same bitch that was in the picture that I showed you yesterday. He was like, oh, oh word. My memory must have just been off. Neve like, motherfucker. Wait a minute. So you had a picture of this bitch the whole time and you knew this wasn't her? He was like, yeah, my bad. Neve said, like, when you get this shit? This nigga say 2017. Neve said, like, 2017? Nigga, this is 2020, what? Neve said, like, so nigga, you done had a picture of the bitch in your phone the whole damn time. You Snapchats ain't saved but 24 hours. So you done had it saved in your phone. This picture of this girl this whole dog on time from 2017. But you telling. Does girlfriend know this? William's like, no. Nigga said, <laughs> nigga, she do now. Uh, Akira, did you know this nigga had a picture of this bitch in his phone the whole goddamn time from Snapchat? He figured this shit out yesterday. He could have told this shit yesterday when we was at the house. But we done had to hop on a goddamn plane, plane and fly the hell on up out here for some shit that this nigga knew that was already in his phone. Nigga, what kind of weed is you smoking? You, really? Her friend was pissed. She was like, oh, nigga. Nigga, you better back up away from me because I'm about to give your ass a two-piece and a 
biscuit in a month. I, I promise for Lord. Back your ass up. Nigga, back up. I'm not playing. She was mad as hell. I don't blame her ass. She got on her phone. I don't know who she. She's probably finna call my mom. Look here. I'm finna have to hurt this nigga. I swear for Lord, I'm finna have to hurt this nigga. She had to go walk off, go calm down, go relieve herself. She done went on on to the room. Cammy and Eve is like, so nigga, what, we need to go ahead and go meet this bitch before she changed her mind. Girlfriend says she don't want to go right now. Girlfriend texting him back, look here. If I go, I'm taking everybody out. I'm talking about whole block police caution tape. So, for mine's and yours, safety-wise, I'm not going to go. She stays in the goddamn room, which I don't blame girlfriend because, yeah, she would have been swinging on your auntie, mom. Y'all know your auntie is a little bit ratchet. I'd have been swinging on every goddamn body. I'm sorry. I would have. Try to get to the park and they meet Jamie. Girl, come to find out it was the girl that had sent him the goddamn Snapchat in 2017. She says that once she started to develop feelings for him, she came clean and was honest and told him that I'm not really who this is in these pictures. This is who I really am. This nigga started clowning her picture, basically saying he didn't believe that was her. Nah, that ain't you. Whoop de whoop, yada, 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 right? He was like, you could have came out and been real with me and told me who you was and blah, 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 blah. She says that you didn't believe who I was. You believe that I was the other person that I originally sent you, which was the catfish. So fuck it. I started going with it. Do you know what this nigga told her? She was like, you can be judgmental sometimes. That's why I didn't want to snap, uh, FaceTime with you, whatever. He was like, I'm not judgmental. You think I'm judgmental? This nigga say when she showed him her pictures of who she really was, this nigga called her ugly. Girl caught the girl ugly. On top of that. <laughs> This nigga said you got an ugly voice. Dog, what? <laughs> Your auntie not laughing at that. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at How the fuck you gonna tell nigga ugly be like but you look ugly and you sound ugly what that's fucked up cammy can't be telling nigga you ain't shit <laughs> neem asked her ass where the money come from she said that was really from social media she really does do promotions and she sells them on social media. So because she never been in a serious relationship and she was in love with William, she was willingly sending this nigga money. Set up her PayPal account so that this nigga could get money. And she was randomly sending him money out her own damn pocket. Bitch, where they do that at? What? How is it that the catfisher, <laughs> what are you doing at? But William was a straight asshole about it. He was like, yeah, you did that because you love me, right? Yeah, because you really love me, huh? Yeah. She was like, yeah, I loved you. That's why I did it with you. Oh, baby. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, no, goddamn, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No ham, no spam. I do not like green eggs and ham. So then he was like, all right, long story short, uh, y'all niggas trying to be cool. Y'all trying to talk it out. Y'all, you like, well, what, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna barbecue meal do? What, what the fuck it is? Cause, uh, nigga, you don't wasted everybody goddamn time. We ain't have to come out here for this bullshit. We could did this shit on goddamn Skype. Save everybody some goddamn time and money. She was like, well, she, after all of that, she still wants, oh, back it up though. Neve asked her, so what's up with all these fake ass accounts that she was sending, um, Threatening girlfriend, saying all this shit. She's talking about she don't know nothing about that. She said that one her, she ain't doing it. She ain't had nothing to do with it. He was like, mm, I don't believe that shit, bitch, whatever. Um, we know that was your ass. Um, But sh um, William tells her he don't want to have no friendship with her. He moving on. He wants to be over and done with it, right? Child, after they end up leaving from that, he in the car talking about he ready to go see his baby. He miss his wifey. And, oh, I miss my girl. Now you ready to go back and see your baby? Like, nigga, really? Child, as soon as they get to the goddamn hotel, this nigga bust out, start crying like a little bitch. 
what you crying out for? Because he wanted to have something so he can look real desperate and, and, and pathetic and pitiful. So when he go back to his girl, she can take his ass back with open arms. Chai, he get in there. He crying the blues. I love you. I won't spend the rest of my life with you. You make me better. I'm no me without you. Some old bullshit. Chai, two months later, they still together. <laughs> I guess all that begging worked. And they checked in with Jamie. Jamie uh, declined to do a two-month follow-up. She said she just ready to move on with her life. She said, to hell with all you niggas and this whole goddamn bullshit. I'm done with it. Y'all, the episode ended from there. This goddamn episode was a trip to me. Hey, if there's somebody out there that want to catfish auntie, send me money to my cash app, feel free. It's money sign. Mo Ham Steve. <laughs> All donations are greatly appreciated. Y'all already know, if it was something I missed, drop it down below and let me know. I'm sleepy as shit. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace out. <laughs> what's going on y'all look here if you like this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up share this video comment on this video all of that good stuff and if ain't nobody else told you today i sure enough love you and i sure enough appreciate you